Nearly $600 million later, Mike Bloomberg is ending his presidential campaign after a Super Tuesday shocker claiming a paltry four delegates and just one win, American Samoa. After yesterday's results, the delegate math had become virtually impossible and a viable path to the nomination just no longer existed. Mike Bloomberg spent more than $500 million on his campaign. He didn't win a single state with the sizable chunk of black voters, which he spent millions of dollars and lots of time and effort to try to reach out to. It was a disastrous return for Bloomberg, but what made the three-time New York mayor wade into an already crowded Democratic field? In the late fall of 2019, he began doing polling head-to-head -head polling in swing states that will determine who the next president is and concluded that the numbers didn't look good for pretty much any of the Democrats running. And so it was a real shock, not just for the Democratic Party, who had taken his word at face value when he said he wasn't running for the president, but even for his closest aides, who get a call one morning after briefing him on these polls, and he says, I'm doing it. He did it in November, as Joe Biden's poll numbers were slipping. It looked like a smart bet when Joe Biden didn't do well in Iowa and New Hampshire. Over three months, Bloomberg sank a monumental amount of money into TV advertising. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. His ads you know, run constantly on Google and on Facebook. His, his ads run constantly on broadcast television and cable television. There's one analysis that said if you if you lined up all the advertising he has aired consecutively uh, from the start of his campaign in late uh, uh, November, it, it would add up to, I think, 171 days uh, of consecutive run time, which is more than twice the amount of time he has been running. But the billionaire floundered in his debate debut as other candidates lined up to savage him over past indiscretions. A billionaire who calls women fat broads and horse-faced lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. He is coming to the race with, you know, as a 78-year-old, as a with an enormous amount of baggage uh, from his previous career, from his previous life. He was going to spend all his time, all his money, and all his resources building up this big debut on Super Tuesday. But then Joe Biden started doing better in these early states, early states with voters of color and states that Bloomberg specifically skipped going to. In the end, a series of endorsements from fellow candidates made Biden the moderate's choice. Bloomberg's billions could only get him so far.